Hey everybody, how's it going? Hi. Excellent. Hey guys. Yeah. How are How's you? Guys? Excellent. Welcome back to another video of Conversations and Coffee. This is sort of a sneak peek into our Conversations and Coffee product, you guys. If you have not signed up, you need to at allearsenglish.com slash fast. It's so awesome. Every Wednesday, you can get in your email inbox a conversation with a vocab lesson, transcripts, and a quiz. And it's fun. It's us four chatting about things that are always really fun and interesting. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited for today's topic. I mean, we're all so young, you know, we're just, we're mere babies in That's the right. scheme of life, but we're going to talk about places to retire today. I know we're going to talk about what we envision <laughs> for our retirement. Cause it, I mean, it's coming before you know it, right? It's definitely sure. something that people should think about before it's already there. And you're like, oh, I haven't prepared. I don't know what, what are we doing? No, you definitely need to think about <laughs> it sooner about rather it. than later. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's true. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Lindsay, what about you? Have you thought about retirement? Where do you yeah. see yourself retiring? Oh my gosh. Where physically? I'm not sure, but I'm spending time with my parents this weekend here or this week here in Situate, Massachusetts. So maybe somewhere by the ocean because it is mm, nice. Yeah. I mean, they're right on the, on the Harbor here. They get to smell the ocean. It just feels kind of idyllic to me. Yeah. So that'd be beautiful. Life. Yeah. For what sure. about Florida, Lindsay? There's oh, the ocean. Florida. It's There's definitely retirement. Cheap. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Florida wouldn't be the worst. I mean, there's a nice community of people down there, right? There's a lot of infrastructure set up for retired yeah. people. So that is a thing. Yep. My parents are snowbirds and they love it. Oh, explain that, Michelle. Explain what a snowbird is. Yeah. So a snowbird is, uh, is someone who is retired, who they go to Florida. It's usually Florida, I would say, yeah. for or the winters. Arizona. And then they go back to wherever <laughs> they live. Um, and so that's what my parents do. They go for like three, three and a half months to Florida every winter. They started doing it a few years ago and they love it. And one of the things that they love about it is that it's the variety. I mean, you can have the best weather, but you can also like, they have different friends down there. So, so they, you know, do. life is, life is interesting. You're not going to get tired of it because it's like, you know, for a few months of the year, you, and you really learn to appreciate each place where you live. So they sure. downsized from our house and now they have like two apartments. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. Of, Having um, friends is retired. huge in retirement, right? Having a nice network yes. of people that, yeah, that is huge. You know, like that's another thing to think about though, is it's not just, um, not just like the physical location, yeah. but starting to cultivate a, a mindset where you'll be ready for retirement. Yep. Just like I've known so yeah. many, <clears throat> usually men, honestly, I'm not saying it's a gender thing. This is just my experience. Um, men who have worked so hard their entire lives, like their lives were their jobs. And then when they retire, it's, like they get sad. Yeah. They yeah. feel useless. They've lost motivation. Yeah. Like it's, you know, you have to like, you have to have habits outside of work and yeah. friends and For stuff sure. before. My dad like retired, I think two or three times before it stuck. Really? He, he, like, he I'm kept, not ready. Yeah. I'm not ready. He's in the other room. I should have him come in two and talk about it. Two or three times. Um, so he, back to, back to Yeah. He, he kept, oh my gosh. I, was it twice or three times? I, I, I can't remember now, but he kept on trying to stop and then he, you know, it, it, it was hard. And then finally yeah. when my mom retired too, things got better. And then he got into pickleball, Aubrey, yes. um, I which my dad just got back from playing right now. Awesome. And now like, they like made all these friends together and the whole Florida thing. Cool. So, but it is like, Jessica said, you really, I think have to prepare yourself yourself. It's, I think they say, you know, just like any job takes time getting used to maybe yeah. a year to get used to it. I think retirement too. I mean, that's a big change. So yeah, for sure. Here's my worry. Yeah. I want to travel when I'm retired, but I know several people who have waited to travel until they're retired and then yeah. their yeah. health goes downhill yeah. and yeah. there's so much, they're so much more limited. They can't do these amazing hikes that I want to do and a right. lot of this stuff. So yeah, I'm really trying to keep my health to the point where I can still do that when I'm a little older and retired, but sometimes that's out of your control. And a lot, yeah. A lot of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Often out of your control. So well, that's, I, that's why you got to start doing things now. Right? Yeah. Don't oh, wait. for sure. I mean, <laughs> Don't oh, put yeah. it off. 
That's yeah. I think that's the thing. other thing, right? Everybody, I don't know if people like think logically about what retirement is, is like all the time. Maybe it's just sort of this far off dream where all of a sudden life is perfect or what, yeah. you know what I mean? And then it's like, but right now I can't afford to do anything yeah. and keep your nose yeah. to the grindstone and burr, burr, burr. but mm-hmm. like, but why? <laughs> you have no idea what's going to happen or like right. how much of that idyllic retirement will ha- will you will have yeah so but it's it also says something it also says something about this country though and like yeah. the amount of vacation a, a vacation time we get the amount of money that we make to do these things i mean in other countries like there's more vacation time i know that's true and there's more val- value on that and the whole live to work work to live thing so unfortunately that's like it's like such a nice idea to be like i'm gonna do it now but it's it's not valued. It, that's not how our culture is, and that's it's true. sad. Yeah. Or if you look at it the other way, like if you do wait and you fig- and you find out your social sec- your social security check is so minimal, right? Like yeah. I know Lindsay, we talked somewhere. about Nomad Land on oh on my god, Oliver's English movie. podcast, and it's it's that also like our yeah. country also doesn't take care of the elderly in a way where they can always be comfortable. For sure. For me, the ideal is living a life of travel as much as possible and then reflecting on it in retirement, right? Yeah. At home, pretty much. Because like, yeah. like you said, Aubrey, I'm not going to be able to move all, everywhere, hike every hike, you know, backpack everywhere. So let's have good memories by the time I get to retirement and hopefully have grandkids and everything's up here. It's all reflecting in a way. Yeah, for sure. And then you that to me is a good life. Pickleball. And yeah. <laughs> reflecting and pickleball. <laughs> yes. Some of the things that are a little more appropriate for our age and retirement. Yeah. <laughs> um, just as a funny thing to go back to when Michelle was talking about snowbirds, because you said yeah. a lot of the snowbirds go to Florida. And then Aubrey, you said, and Arizona. I heard because, that too. Like, yeah, you're right. Arizona is the Florida of the West Coast That's in true. a oh. lot of ways, I would say. Of yeah. many ways, but also the snowbird thing. I went to university in Tucson and I worked in like bars and restaurants and stuff when I was going to school. And we always knew when like the snowbirds had arrived, you know, <laughs> just a, a lot more business. It's great, right? Like For they sure. bring a lot of business to wherever they go. Um, but the clientele definitely changes <laughs> at a certain <laughs> well, time of year. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's for health reasons. Like someone's doctor yeah. will say, you need to go where there's a dry heat. They're like, don't go to Florida. Right. It's all humid. That's you true. need to go to Arizona because the dry heat is better for, I think, arthritis and some sure, um, right. illnesses that people are suffering from. So yeah, we have a lot of um, snowbirds down here and it's actually really fun. I was working at that nonprofit and it was so much easier the winter because all all these people were coming from Minnesota and Montana. And we had all of these volunteers, these wonderful people who were like happy to volunteer their time. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I would love to do that when I'm retired. I would love to have the time to serve like these ladies I saw serving, like taking so much time to give after a life of working and say, now I have some time to to give back in whatever way that might be, you know? Yeah. Love that idea. That's awesome. Yeah. And also, although you seem to be, give, you seem to give a lot like now already. Yeah. So like, no, I mean like, but I know you made masks and right. Like you've done, huh. you're, you're already I'm try to doing the that. time now, but I'm excited for when I can do it without being stressed about all the other right. stuff that is on my plate. Right. Have right. Sure right. 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 Breathe and be like, Oh, I have some time to burn now. <laughs> 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 have some time on your hands. When I, when I retire, I want to have the, the most comfortable armchair surrounded by stacks of books situated in a little cottage on a beach on an island and an island, or Mexico island. and or Costa Rica. Costa Rica sounds good. Ooh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. I will yep. visit you in retirement in your island paradise. Please, everyone is welcome. You guys, I'll make hammock sure. out there. I could come yeah. too. Just yeah. totally. The hammock. <laughs> well, all the hammocks. I'm just gonna have a little one room, you know, cottage. But I'll make sure to have a hammocks for all the visit <laughs> guest hammocks. Please do for all the visitors. <laughs> awesome. This is all really right. fun chatting about you guys. Definitely, if you have not signed up yet for conversations and coffee, go do it today. AllEarsEnglish.com slash fast. You won't regret it. And all of these fun conversations that you're missing. I feel so bad for, I think of all the fun conversations we've had that not everybody's been able to hear. So sign up today so you can get next Wednesdays. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, all guys. Right. This Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.